Let me also then ask you to respond to what Barack Obama said today. He said that the McCain campaign is trying to turn the page on the discussion of the economy, instead try to highlight his past associations and relationships, and quote, it's easy to rile up a crowd by stoking anger and division. Is your campaign trying to stoke anger and, camp and division? Nora, you know, I think it's a revealing comment that says more about Barack Obama than it says about our campaign. I think that whether or not he's, you know, whether he's argued that uh, Americans uh, cling to their uh, guns or religion or now that they're angry about the greed on Wall Street and the ineffectiveness of Washington, it shows that he just doesn't understand middle class, hardworking Americans. I well, think Tucker, that rural let, Americans I, don't cling to their guns and religion. And I sure as heck don't think that middle class Americans are frustrated and angry uh, because they're being stoked Tucker, by divisions about Barack Obama's association. I think they're mad at Washington and the way that Washington underperformed. Tucker, let me ask you then, if, if, if the McCain campaign is not trying to turn the page in mm -hmm. terms of a discussion of the economy, why aren't you running ads about the economy? Why are you running 100% negative ads and running and uh, introducing new ads about mm -hmm. a 1960s radical every day, rather than an ad perhaps on the new proposal that John McCain put mm -hmm. forward today? Well, Nora, we launched a new ad today about the economy this morning, and it was focusing on Barack Obama's honesty about his record. Uh, it focuses on whether he's being honest with, about his relationship with an unrepentant terrorist in Bel Air's, and whether he's being honest about his relationship with Fannie and Freddie Mac when he stood back and shielded you them from the regulation they needed.